Hello and welcome aboard the beautiful and luxurious Sandpan 2500 WB. When the entire Sandpan pontoon line was reintroduced several years ago, one of the most popular boats, without a doubt, was the wet bar edition. So how do you make that boat even better? You add another bar, of course. Let's take a look. We are up in the uh, bow of the uh, Sandpan 2500, and I want to point out a couple of things. This boat is known for its ultimate luxury. Uh, beautiful furniture, um, incredible decking, uh, lots of incredible touches. Uh, but one of the great things about the uh, Sandpan is that you can get it with an incredible um, triple tube package. Uh, the triple tube uh, is really a, a, the ultimate in comfort on the water, especially any kind of big water that you might be going out on. Uh, it includes a full length center tube, and all the tubes are upgraded to 27 inch diameter. That's going to give you an incredibly comfortable ride, even in the uh, worst choppy water conditions. Uh, we've got lifting strakes on this boat, a new motor pan, uh, some of those great things that you can't even see but really contribute to a fantastic ride, that ultimate luxurious pontoon ride on a sand pan. Uh, we've got an 8 foot 6 inch bow up here which is going to allow us plenty of room to move around. Uh, two forward lounges, uh, the starboard lounge as you can see, uh, that beautiful luxurious um, upholstery, uh, the uh, uh, pleated edges just gives it that really nice high end uh, media room furniture look. Uh, we've got an all new design for a uh, armrest cup holder as you can see the uh, uh, I'll show you this uh, before we had the, the flat uh, armrest that went straight across then we realized that it's much easier to hold on to your beverage sitting like this uh, with your uh, arm raised up a little bit just one of those cool touches that you probably wouldn't have ever thought about uh, here's a nice uh, touch we'll see a little bit more back in the uh, uh, cockpit area but uh, we've gone to a matte wood grain finish this year. Uh, it's really beautiful, as you can see right now in the sunlight. It doesn't have that same glossy shine. Uh, it's really, really classy. Fits in perfectly with the uh, sand pan line. Moving forward, we've got this uh, easy operate forward gate. Uh, simply lift and drop. You always know that that gate's going to be closed. And take a look at the decking material on this boat. This is one of the most popular uh, uh, optional upgrades uh, on the sandpan line for the last couple of years. This is called seagrass. Extremely low maintenance, extremely easy on your feet, uh, even out here in the sunshine. Uh, very easy to move around, very easy to clean and take care of. Uh, forward, we've got uh, an expansive forward deck there, very easy on and easy off of this boat. We've got uh, those beautiful stainless steel sandpan logo uh, corner castings. This adds a really sharp look to this boat. Uh, also with built-in LED docking lights. That's going to be, uh, those LEDs are going to last so much longer. Uh, they're going to be brighter. It's just going to make uh, docking at night or pulling uh, the boat up onto a trailer just that much easier. Again, everything's thought out on this boat for luxury. But just to show you the incredible amount of storage, uh, just look at this uh, multi-density phone. I mean, how comfortable does that look? It's just like your media room uh, at your house. Uh, just really luxurious and easy to take care of. Uh, both forward lounges have a, uh, a, a tub in here that's very uh, easy. Uh, plenty of room, plenty, very deep. Get all of your uh, gear in here, get it out of the way. Uh, that's going to be self-draining and very easy to clean. Same up front here. Another uh, tub to wrap around and this uh, maybe allows a little better uh, chance to see um, this Polk audio speaker, we've got those uh, situated all around this boat. Incredible sound system on the sand pan for 2014. We've also got on the uh, forward uh, lounges a uh, forward facing uh, backrest. And as you can see, the, this sculpted perfectly. You talk about being able to get comfortable in the forward part of the boat. Sometimes uh, uh, people don't like to sit in the, uh, in the bow area of a boat. Uh, because they feel like it's going to be uh, a less comfortable ride. That is simply not the case on a sand pan. Uh, with that uh, upgraded triple tube and uh, these luxurious furnishings, this is really going to be one of the best seats in the house. And again, taking uh, every opportunity to maximize uh, the space on this boat, you can see this uh, forward uh, backrest it folds up and reveals a uh, removable trash receptacle. Uh, slides back in and want to get rid of those uh, wrappers and cans, everything that you accumulate on the boat. Just tuck it out of the way when you get back up to the dock, you simply dump it 
in the nearest trash receptacle. Let's look at the uh, midship area of the uh, Sandpan 2500 WB. Um, you can see the beautiful uh, chili red rail skin we've got here. It's really striking from the boat. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but we'll show you a different angle in a second, of the uh, uh, really uh, subtle metallic flake that's now uh, included in that, uh, in that paint. Uh, really, really beautiful striking on the water in this bright sunshine. Uh, but again, we've got another one of these uh, convenient lift and drop entry gates, as you can see, carrying through that uh, seagrass decking. Uh, pull right up to the dock, uh, very easy on and off of this boat, load gear on and off. Uh, particularly if you're out on the water um, with folks who ha don't get out very often. Um, you know, sometimes they want that extra just feeling of security. And having this uh, nice level deck uh, right up against the dock is just going to help them uh, feel more comfortable getting on and off the boat. Of course, the nice high rails also, uh, not only a beautiful design element, but also quite functional. Uh, in fact, you can uh, always find a, find a nice spot to uh, kind of give you that extra uh, place to lean. Um, carrying that uh, red uh, design all the way through the boat, uh, uh, we've also got a uh, really cleverly disguised changing room. This pops right up. And what this is going to help you do, again, is that chili uh, canvas color. Uh, what this is going to do is if you've uh, been out in the water I uh, need to get out of those wet clothes, really help extend your boating day by just making you a lot more comfortable. Uh, this is a nice way to get a little bit of privacy and uh, continue on your day. Moving back, you can see this expansive bimini top that we've got here. It's that same material. Um, 12 foot bimini covers almost half of the entire boat. Um, one of the things that uh, people really uh, have been asking for is just give me a little bit more shade. Uh, this is certainly going to provide that. Uh, help you get comfortable again change out of your wet clothes get out of the sun for a few minutes uh, just kind of get more comfortable uh, especially if you're eating i don't want to be sitting there right in that direct sun but uh, uh, this is going to give you plenty of shade really help you get the most out of your time on the water let's take a look at the uh, cockpit lounge as you can see it's a nice uh, l-shaped lounge uh, rear facing backrest again that beautiful upholstery those uh, incredible pleats uh, plenty of room to uh, so get comfortable even here in the corner sometimes that's an odd position to be in but really that's one of the best seats in the entire boat uh, plenty more storage let me show you uh, we got a little bit more here uh, as you can see plenty of room all the towels all the fenders you're going to need for the day dock lines anything like that bring them along while you're out on the water Taking a look now, I'm going to move back out of the way and see this uh, uh, incredible new design for a uh, pedestal table. Uh, that two pedestal design makes it extra secure, extra stable. Uh, we've got the uh, recessed cup holders here. Again, that uh, really nice uh, matte finish, that wood grain that's uh, new for 2014. We've got the uh, molded in edge uh, around the table, uh, help keep your uh, belongings uh, from sliding off when you're underway. It's just a great design. You can also see that uh, um, the uh, curve on this table is really going to mirror the shape of the walkway here. Uh, uh, really provides a nice uh, even uh, traffic flow through the boat. Of course, uh, when you're in the uh, captain's chair here, very easy to get comfortable from any position. Uh, take a look at this uh, soft touch uh, leather wrap steering wheel. You can see just what a beautiful design it is, but it's also quite functional. We've got a uh, adjust ability to adjust here, so uh, no matter how you've uh, positioned your uh, captain's chair or uh, what your uh, uh, dimensions are, you can always find a comfortable position to uh, pilot this boat. Um, the sand pan uh, also comes with the uh, uh, standard Sea Star hydraulic steering system. That's going to be incredibly easy to handle this boat. When you combine that with the uh, larger 27 inch tubes, that full length center uh, triple tube, uh, very, very easy boat to drive no matter what the uh, water conditions, you're really going to be amazed. Taking a look at this all fiberglass uh, helm. Uh, again, we've taken uh, all the ability to use all of the uh, extra uh, space on this boat for storage. We've got a dedicated cooler storage directly under the helm in that cavity down there. Also got a beautiful stainless uh, grab handle so when you're moving from one end of the boat to the other, uh, you're always going to have a nice, uh, safe, stable to, uh, position to uh, put your hands. Nice oversized, high contrast for rear gauges. 
standard this year on the uh, Sandpan 2500 WB is this Garmin Echo Map chart plotter. Uh, it's one of the easiest I've ever seen to use. We had it out on the water just a little while ago. Uh, instantly finds uh, your position on the map. Uh, do, uh, of course, all the traditional waypoints and all that, but extremely high contrast uh, screen. Uh, really, really beautiful and very easy to use. Very intuitive. We've got the uh, uh, non-slip areas up here, uh, right on the dash. Uh, put those sunglasses or uh, wallet or keys, whatever, sunglasses, uh, anything you've got, or we'll pop them right in here into the uh, re recessed stainless cup holder. Uh, also notice that there's a, an upholstered um, cowling here, and what that's gonna do is really help keep that direct sunlight uh, from shining, beating right down on your uh, gauges, making it a little easier to see. That also helps with the uh, little windscreen here. Uh, just kind of helps keep that uh, wind directly out of your face. New on Sandpan for this year, um, we've got a, uh, an upgraded, this is standard on the Sandpan model, got an upgraded Sony stereo system. Uh, this is actually a Bluetooth system. Uh, so if you've ever been out on the, a boat and worried that you had the proper cord to plug it in and wondered how you plug it in and, and, and put the, uh, the um, cover down over it, uh, you don't have to worry about that anymore. Simply uh, pair your uh, Bluetooth enabled uh, phone or iPod uh, directly up with that uh, so everybody can actually play their own music while you're out on the water. And again, that's going to be wirelessly. What a, what a handy feature that is. Uh, if you would need to uh, keep your phone uh, charged during the day, your iPhone, your Android, uh, nice convenient 12 volt receptacle here. Look at these beautiful um, aluminum toggle switches uh, also. You'll notice everything is backlit. There's a backlighting system around the entire boat. Uh, you can even get it uh, on the uh, pontoon underneath the uh, boat. It's really beautiful at night. Uh, flip that switch on and you can see all the areas that uh, you can illuminate here, including the uh, backlit switches, sandpan logo, and uh, walkway lights throughout the entire boat. Um, we're on a raised plat helm station here. Uh, you can see it's going to get you an, an extra two and a half or so inches up off of the deck uh, with that beautiful uh, Versatique uh, flooring. A uh, nice angled footrest as well. That's not only beautiful, it's very easy to take care of. And that being able to uh, be up, raised up just a few inches is going to allow you to see over all your passengers in the forward part of this boat. Remember, this Sandpan 2500 is rated for up to 17 passengers. So you're going to have a lot of folks on board having a great time. Of course, the captain's uh, got the uh, best seat in the house. Uh, again, that beautiful soft touch vinyl. Uh, the adjustable armrest, the thigh bolster, every uh, molded inside and thigh bolsters here, uh, overstuffed headrest. Um, you've got a really nice uh, ability to get comfortable in this chair. You can see how we can recline here. It will also slide back and forth and of course rotate completely around uh, if you're at the dock like we are now or just uh, floating out on the water. Uh, provides a nice conversation pit. But when you're wheeled back around here, of course ready to roll uh, at the helm. I'm sitting here at the uh, middle bar on the newly redesigned uh, Sandpan 2500 WB. Uh, we've got one in the uh, midship area here, right behind the cockpit, and one uh, at the uh, aft end of the boat. You can see that uh, it's a beautiful hard surface countertop, uh, and actually one of our engineers this year uh, developed this new uh, system with a uh, stainless cup holder and a uh, rubberized foot underneath it so you can actually slide a wine glass, uh, the stem of a wine glass directly under here. Uh, if you ever uh, were, have been drinking water, uh, if you've ever been drinking wine out on the water, uh, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about with the, uh, the stem of the glass falling over. But this new system holds it securely uh, even when you're out running on the boat. Uh, there's also uh, really incredible uh, LED lighting. We talked about the, uh, the new lighting package. Uh, there are actually LEDs underneath uh, each one of these cup holders. It's really, really beautiful in the evening. Uh, extremely comfortable uh, bar set up here. Of course, uh, this is for your guests only. Obviously, the captain is not going to be enjoying this, but uh, a great place to entertain. We've got newly redesigned uh, uh, bar stools uh, with a nice backrest, swivels completely around, as you can see. Uh, beautiful upholstery, stainless steel. Um, there's also a footrest here, just like you would have at a uh, regular bar. So you can sit up here, just get very, very comfortable. Um, on the port side, we've got a very deep sink that's uh, concealed by a flip-up uh, hard surface countertop. And you can see a very nice size uh, food prep area, plenty of sliding uh, uh, 
storage underneath. Uh, there's also a, uh, a, a handy latch storage down here uh, for any supplies you're going to be bringing along. Of course, this bolt holds quite a few people. Uh, going to need plenty of uh, beverages and snacks and things like that, plates. Uh, all that's going to be safely tucked right under here. You're not going to have to worry about where it is. It's all going to be in a self-contained area. Spinning around, a couple of really great features. Of course, we got that uh, uh, raised bar back here as well. Uh, this is what we call the kind of a uh, stand-up bar. Um, again, with those uh, really cleverly designed uh, cup holders, we've got a rail system here. So if you've got something on here and the boat takes off, it's going to stop right here. Uh, again, that hard surface uh, countertop. Uh, more of those uh, Polk audio system uh, stereos. When you're playing that uh, Bluetooth Sony stereo system, you get music all around this boat. Uh, convenient access to the batteries uh, directly below that. Also, we've got these uh, uh, stainless uh, drawer and storage compartment under there. Uh, we're going to show you in just a second uh, an identical station on the other side, but um, standard on the, uh, on the Sandpan 2500 is a uh, receiver for a grill. Uh, there's a uh, magma grill that you can get with this boat. Uh, it slides right into that pedestal just like uh, some of the pedestal seats would. Uh, but you can, as you can see, it's removable. So uh, if you want to take it off and clean it or just don't need it on the boat for whatever reason, uh, uh, pull it right out and then it converts into a large uh, cutting surface or um, uh, food prep area. Moving around to the uh, uh, starboard side uh, refreshment center, you can see we've got another oversized uh, sink here, uh, great fresh water system. Uh, we've got the, uh, the, the pump faucet there. Uh, and again, that converts into a nice food prep area, plenty more storage below. We've got a uh, convenient 12 volt receptacle here and raised up uh, uh, countertop surface, a couple more cup holders. And again, uh, we've actually got two receivers on this boat for that um, uh, convenient grill system. Uh, again, uh, if you're gonna, this is a smaller grill, of course, it's gonna be about like this big. Uh, but if you've got 17 people on, you may want to have both grills going at the same time to make sure everybody gets something to eat. Uh, again, when you don't need it, it simply folds right down uh, and out of the way. And again, uh, the identical um, uh, storage drawer here, uh, that's a nice stainless drawer, very, very deep, holding all those wine glasses, anything else you're going to be bringing along, and another convenient oversized storage underneath this uh, refreshment center. Now let's take a look at the aft deck on the uh, 2500WB. As you can see, a very expansive area back here. Um, we've got a uh, convenient uh, lift and drop gate, just like the ones in the other part of the boat. Um, again, that's very easy. You're always going to know that's going to be safe and secure, particularly as we talked about if you've got folks on board who don't get out in the water very often, or if you've got young children. No latches to mess with, you know it's going to stay in place carrying that uh, seagrass decking back here. You can see how beautiful that is. Um, again, those uh, sand pan uh, corner castings, a uh, convenient pop-up uh, cleats there, the pull-up cleats, uh, a boarding ladder, which we'll demonstrate in just a second. Uh, but take a look at this uh, new design uh, for the uh, uh, ski tow bar. You can see how it clever, it's cleverly concealed back here uh, underneath the bar and right in front of the, uh, uh, the engine motor mount. Uh, we've got an Evinrude uh, 250 horsepower uh, outboard on this boat and you can see maybe a little bit of that new uh, uh, motor uh, mount shroud uh, that's of course going to be right on the uh, uh, end of that triple tune, that center tube that's uh, running all the way down the middle of this pontoon providing all that extra stability and uh, easy handling. And of course, uh, another little area to, uh, to access back here uh, carrying through with that uh, uh, seagrass decking. Now I want to show you this uh, new design for the uh, boarding ladder. Um, typically you'll see a, uh, a ladder that's going to be straight up and down, you're going to pull yourself straight up. This actually has this uh, really clever S curve to it and those extra wide uh, treads on the ladder. If you've ever tried to uh, climb up a, a ladder uh, from the water uh, without uh, having these uh, wide treads, you'll know that it can uh, be a little tough on your feet. But simply lower this down into the water and you can see how it kind of creates this uh, curve shape and using these stainless uh, grab handles you can easily walk right up this ladder right onto the boat uh, no problem to uh, get this uh, seagrass decking material wet of course uh, simply get dried off and you're ready to go in your day and when you're everybody's in the boat 
you simply use that same latch, that same strap there I should say, uh, to pull it right up and secure the ladder. Well I really hope you enjoyed this look at the newly updated Sandpan 2500 WB. Uh, beautiful triple two package, incredible handling, uh, seagrass decking, uh, overstuffed media room style furniture, beautiful upholstery, and of course the all new configuration with the double bar in the back. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.